We're Alive, a story of survival. Chapter 3, The New Arrivals, Part 1 of 3. Nothing used to scare me. I didn't fear death or what might be there on the other side if today was my day. That was then, and this is now. Saul and Angel were on their own. They'd left early that morning and headed out along a pre-planned route to pick up supplies for the rest of us back at the tower. I wasn't out there, so I can't tell you firsthand what happened. But from what I was told later, I was able to put the pieces together. We were supposed to turn left back there. What the hell are you doing? Ah, nah, there wasn't enough room. There were like two cars blocking that street. It's just easier to go around. You keep doing this and we're going to get lost. Would you relax already? I know what I'm doing. Okay, then what's the next street? Paul. All right, you got lucky with that one. See? I got this. Just keep a lookout for survivors. Thought we'd at least find one by now. Two days and there's no one left in L.A. I don't get it. Why do you suppose that is? Uh, I'm sure Michael will figure it out. What? You don't think I could? Honestly? No. What makes him so special? What does he have that I don't have? Because let's face it, none of you respect me like you should. Well, see, that's just it. Michael doesn't ask for it. He just gets it. But why? What do I have to do? Earn it. Haven't I done that already? What? What have you done to earn our respect? Well, I've been fighting alongside you the whole time. Yeah, that's right. See, you've been doing the same shit as everyone else is doing, so guess what? We're all equal. Whatever. I'm done talking about this. Sure. Go pout. Then you'll pull rank when you don't like what someone's telling you. Pull into this market. Shit. This one's been raided too. Come on. Let's just see what they got left. Who the fuck did all this? I don't know. People panic and do foolish things. This is like the third place that's like this. At this rate, we ain't never going to find any... Just load up what you can find. Keep an eye out for drums or anything else that can hold gas. Clean up. I'll six. Wow. How many do you think were normal out of this bunch? Looks like about half. Weird, huh? How do you think they decided between keeping people as their own or using them for food? Yeah. Because they don't t attack each other, do they? See? Told you Michael's not the only one who can figure things out. Hey. Look at this one. Oh. He bit into the can? Why would one of them do that? This is one of them, right? Maybe it was hungry. Well, whoever shot this one was heavily armed. He has like 30 holes in him. Hey, look. Tuna! Sweet! Finally, food that's not horrible. Hey, there's a bit of frozen stuff back here. Should we grab it? Yeah, grab that ice chest and we'll load it up with all that we can hold. How do you think Michael's doing back at the tower? Hopefully better than us. File in one at a time, please. We need to make sure you're all okay. Please, give us your name so we can write you down and any skills or jobs you might have had. Can you believe this? How many has that been now? Twenty at least. Five in the first batch, and now these people. Kind of exciting, isn't it? Yeah. The lobby can barely fit everyone. Look at Peg's beaming over there. She looks great. Oh, are you saying that because of the sign or for other reasons? The sign, of course. First and last name. Riley, you should probably go up and tell Datu that more are on the way for room assignments. Just wait till Sol and Angel see all these people. <laughs> oh, excuse me, I need to go through. I'm fine, Aunt Kelly, stop it. Let me look, you may have something on you, now just hold still. I told you it's nothing. The only two worth mentioning from the second group were Tommy and Kelly. Tommy was 16 at the time and was being babysat by his aunt when everything went bad. Kelly was a lawyer back before all this happened and didn't really care much for kids. She may have known how to deal with the most complex legal cases, but Tommy, to her, was a complete mystery. 
Stop it, please. I don't need your help. Why don't you go bother someone else? Don't talk to me that way. If your mother heard you speak to me like that... Yeah, well, she's not here and she's not going to be here. Why don't you just wake up? Please don't do this now. You're embarrassing me. You just don't understand what's going on. Name? Kelly Maynard. And your son? Oh, this is Tommy. He's my nephew. Oh, okay. Um, so will you two be staying together? Yeah, I think so. Would that be okay? I prefer if we shared the same room. That way I could keep an eye on him. I'll be fine then, Kelly. I can have my own room. Oh, okay. So two rooms then. No, we can stay in one. We'll make room for other people. Come on. Look, I'm old enough to have my own. I don't have to share it with you. Uh, that should be okay. I mean, we have Tommy, plenty of... you're going to stay with me. We can give you a two-bedroom. Would that be... I'd rather have my own. How many apartments do you have left? Would you excuse us for a moment? Would you stop it? You're embarrassing me. Why can't I have any say in this? I'm taking care of this. You don't understand why... Oh, yeah, I do understand. You can't tell me what to do. You're not my mom. Why can't I stay with someone else? I need to keep an eye on you in case something happens. Keep you safe. Like you kept Lucy safe? First and last name. How can you say that to me? I tried, Tommy. I did. We were lucky to get out of there. I loved your sister. Yeah, well, not enough to go back to get her. She could have been okay. You don't know. Tommy, listen to me. Whatever that was, that wasn't your sister anymore. You know that. Well, it shouldn't have happened in the first place. Had my mom not dumped us with you, none of this would have happened. I didn't have a choice either. You think I want to babysit you? Your mom left you with me and didn't come back. What am I supposed to do now? Do you want me to just leave you? Do you want to deal with this on your own? Well, then fine. You can do this alone. I don't need this. You're old enough. Why not? Have your own room. Maybe even your own apartment. Everyone else here is focused on looking after themselves. They wouldn't give two shits if something happened to you. Wait, I just... I didn't mean... You said what you said. You wouldn't have said it if you didn't mean it. Come on. We'll tell her you'll have your own apartment. Maybe even with a complete stranger since you can't stand your own aunt. Please, Aunt Kelly, wait. No, come on, let's tell her. Stop. Don't. And why should I? I'm scared, okay? I'm scared too, Tommy. I miss Mom. I know, I miss her too. So we're on the same team now? Yep. All right, come on. Sorry about that. It's just been a... It's all right. Everyone's had a rough couple of days. Lizzie here will take you upstairs to your room. You ready? Lead the way. Cool. Sounds like someone's hungry. Hopefully we can find something he can eat. That's the last of them. What do we got? Any good prospects? Uh, let's see. We have one gardener. Two checkout people, a couple of paperwork people, a tax guy, two waitresses, and a bunch of other jobs that may or may not help us out. Oh, and one therapist. Hmm. Not much to work with, but we'll start assigning them jobs soon enough. You're still excited about it, aren't you? Yeah. Hmm. I mean, who could have expected so many? You think this is all because of my signs? Only Lizzie came before. I bet it is. Nice. Go Pigs! (laughs) Michael? We have a slight problem. Trouble assigning rooms? No, it's not that. It's the boy. What, what, what about him? Is he hurt? No, it's not that either. It's just that, well, he can't eat many things. Well, we have plenty of canned food and things and some frozen stuff. I'm sure we'll be fine. No, it's like, it's like he can't digest a lot of those things. His aunt told me he has celiac disease. What the hell is that? I didn't know either until she told me. Um, he can't eat gluten. I guess that's something that's in wheat products. So, we'll pick out the wheat parts. No, she says that if anything with gluten even touches his food, he'll get sick. And almost all of our food has gluten in it in some way. All right, well, then we kick him to the curb. Michael! What? I was kidding. Enough of what he can't eat. What can he eat? Uh, his Aunt Kelly says that he eats mostly greens, like vegetables and salads and things. Well, we have a bunch of frozen vegetables, but I'm not sure how long they'll last for just him. Shit. Which means the roof is now a priority. Come on, let's go try and deal with that asshole who's locked himself up in the top floor. What are you going to do? Well, one way or another, we need to get on the roof. I say we get Datu to turn off everything so we can flush him out. There has to be another way. We've tried talking to him. What else do you want us to do? I haven't. Let me try. And what will you say that we haven't? Well, I'm the therapist on the list. I think if you come about it the right way, he might open up a bit. You're a little young to be a therapist. Paging Dr. Fabre. Oh, 
That's me. I think I can handle it, Michael. Lizzie was stubborn and questioned everything. I knew she was worth the risk we had taken before to save her. I just wish Angel would have realized it. Open the door, this shit's heavy. Hey, look at all these seeds. This is perfect. Carrots, pumpkins. Right, I'm lifting heavy bags of soil, and you're fucking around with a bunch of little packets. You're such an officer. And you are such a specialist. Hey, would you look at that? Leave it. It's worthless. Yeah, but I still feel like it has some value. You know what I mean? You live your life thinking it could be everything, and now it's just paper. It's going to take some time to get used to it, isn't it? Among other things. So, how are we doing on the list so far? Well, we got a bunch of wood, boards, and nails with screw guns, blah, blah, blah. We're doing pretty well on hardware parts. We're just really light on food. So is that it? Are we done here? Yeah. You sure that that's the only generator you could find? Sure, it's small, ain't it? That isn't going to help us much. No, it's not. That one will probably barely run a TV, let alone a fridge. Come on, let's just go low. Get down! What is it? Look outside. They're surrounding the Hummer. I count six. Maybe more on the other side. So what do we do now? I don't know. If we shoot, we could draw in more of them. Maybe we just wait it out. That's your solution to everything. Just stay behind the counter. What's coming in? Stay down. It's eating up. I'm gonna take it out. Don't shoot it. Just a little bit deuce. Do it. Come on. Come on. My god, did the other ones hear? No. They're still outside. That was really fucking stupid. Those others could have. They did it now. Come on. We should head out the back while we have a chance. Good call. I'll follow you. <laughs> Gotta admit, that was pretty cool, though. I stabbed him right in the eye. Yeah, I know. He didn't even see it coming. I knew you'd be back. Thought you might be able to sneak up on me, did you? See what I mean? He's lost it. I don't think he had it to begin with. Uh, Datu. Datu, you knew him before all of this. Why don't you say something? Bill! It's Datu! You know me, don't you? I've worked for you for, for the last couple years. You may sound like him, but that don't mean shit. Why don't you peek around the corner so I can see you? This is getting us nowhere. I have enough rounds to send his way. My rifle bullets goes faster and further than his shotgun. I said we make a break for it and we... Hold on. You haven't even given me a chance. Well, be my guest, but just let me know when you want me to shoot him. Excuse me, sir? Sir, what's your name? You already know it. The other one probably told you. Okay, yeah, well, okay, Bill. Um, wh what are you doing in there? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm protecting myself. No, I mean, like, what do you plan on doing? Surviving. Oh, is that it? Just, just living? All pent up and alone? Sounds good enough to me. Better than letting you and your friends tear me up or make me one of you. You're alone in there, though. We're normal, like you. And there are many people downstairs that could help you. Of course, shit. You don't have anything I need. I have enough stored up in here to last me a long time. But what about us? We need to get to the roof, and we can't do that unless you let us through. The roof? Now why the hell would I let you up there? All we want to do is use it to grow some food. That's all. We'll even give you some. We just need to get past your door. Well, I don't know. Listen, Bill? Bill, there's a little boy downstairs and he can't eat any of the food we have. You wouldn't want a little boy to die, would you? Especially if he's one of the last normal people. Like you. A boy, huh? 
and you aren't trying to get into my apartment. No, Bill. You don't have anything we need. All right. I'll let you up. Don't try anything funny. No quick movements. Okay. But can I trust you? How do I know you're not going to shoot me, Bill? I won't. All right. Here. Put my gun down. Okay. I'm coming out. Alone. You don't want me to... Just stay here, Michael. Nothing fast now. I, I'm watching you. See? I don't look like one of them, do I? No. I guess not. It, it's safe downstairs now. Lots of normal people are here. You can come out. Our and... deal was just to let you on the roof. Don't try and change that. All right, all right. I won't, I won't push. Thank you, Bill. Yeah. Whatever. I want fresh cucumbers when you got them. And don't try and do any funny stuff to them, or you'll never get back on the roof. You're an asshole. Yeah, but we have what we want. Now where do we go from here? Keep moving. Ali's clear. Move closer. See anything? They're still around the hummer. Waiting things out ain't doing shit like always. We're sitting ducks out here. There's only six or so. We'll take them. Maybe there's another way. We need to distract them somehow. Hand hmm. me that rock. Here. But I don't see how a single rock. Who is it? They're clearing the hummer. Come on! Go, 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 go! Great job! Thank you, sir! You're better with that rock than you are with a rifle, but still, nicely done! Only take three sets of clothes, please. Hey, only one pair of shoes. This place is a zoo. Riley, you have any... Uh... Hey, put those back. I said only one pair. Ah, oh, these people, they think they have Macy's or something. They're so greedy. I'm sorry, I'm just flustered right now. Did you want something? Yeah, we need the potted plants you gathered from the apartments. Lizzie talked to Bill, and we're able to go up to the roof. Oh, well, good for you. Go ahead and grab them. They're on the balcony. But I don't see much of a point. Sword and Angel haven't come back with any seats yet. Well, Pegs is going to start setting up so that uh, when they do get back, we just need to add them. Is this all you have? Oops. What do you mean, oops? What happened? One of them was just close to the edge. It just fell off. Oh, well, that's... It sees us. Yeah, but it may not know how to get us. After all, it is only one. What is it doing? I don't know. Oh, shit. It's calling others. There's more coming. Join us again Monday for the next episode of We're Alive. And now, a word from our sponsors. Buying, selling, whether a first-time home buyer or purchasing your 50th home, Jeremy Wayland of Reiki Realty is the realtor for you. Specializing in first-time homes, multi-residential, and Chapman housing, he has the service for you. A fifth-generation Orange resident, he cares about the Orange community. It has never been a better time to buy with tax incentives, low interest rates, and affordable home prices. Call Jeremy today at 714-745-7318. That's Jeremy at 714-745-7318. You will be glad you did. To find out more or become a sponsor, visit www.thezombiepodcast.com or free on the iTunes store, keyword, We're Alive. Starring Jim Gleason, Nate Gies, Shane Salk, Claire Doden, Elisa Elliott, Jay Oligario, Manly Woods, 
Blair Byhauer, Nico Marvin, and Tammy Klein, featuring Michael Swan. Written and directed by Casey Wayland. Associate producer, Jason Scott. Print editor, Blythe Hill. Composers, Katie Wayland and Ron Gallagher. Producer, Shane Salk, Casey Wayland. This has been a Wayland production. You. <laughs> so, hey, now we're good. Hey, are we working? Okay, that's good because I did not know sign language. I apologize if I said anything offensive in sign language. No. I don't know. Uh, welcome to Apartment 2C, the uh, after live show. We have got some awesome content for you guys today. Th today might be the most content we have ever brought to you in a single show, and I am very excited. We're finally on the ball. Finally, finally. <laughs> uh, I am your host, Tony Ray, and of course, as always, I am joined by the beautiful Casey Wayland. And and today, special, special guest, one of my favorite characters from the series, Tammy Klein, playing the character Kelly. Yay. Everyone, yay! <laughs> Tammy, thank you so much for making Welcome the drive you. out here. We're very excited. We have cracked bottles mm -hmm. uh, of root beer. I was just informed they are alcoholic. <laughs> So we're uh, going to have fun. So we are going to have a lot of fun this show. Uh, cheers. Uh, cheers. I, we oh, cheers yeah. already yeah. off camera. More but cheers. Mine's already like it. empty, go. but that's okay. We'll get you another one. We, we, we're going to get Casey we? Whalen drunk tonight, guys. <laughs> Last time it wasn't, didn't go so well. Last that's, time you got drunk? Or? Well, I, it's just I was burping a lot. Oh. Were you burping a lot? Yeah. I thought you were just... Well, I was verbally out. vomiting too, but yeah. you know, burping was just the side product. Yeah. Uh, so today's episode was uh, was an awesome episode. Uh, it was the New Arrivals. Uh, this is chapter three, correct? Am I crazy? Chapter three, part one of three, the New Arrivals. And we actually meet your character, Kelly. Uh, one of my favorite characters of the series. Obviously, it, we're, we're doing a no spoilers, unfortunately. Or I would just spill the beans. <laughs> but uh, you are one of those cool characters that... Uh, I can't really say that. You much, can say can you can say you can say a little bit about okay. her character. That's fine. I hated you in the beginning, <laughs> and then you just you at some point during the show during the series you make a you flip a switch and I, you become like this person that I loved. That, that's and that's as much as I can say without spoiling it. I think. Uh, do you find that like uh, that you relate to that character at all? Yes, um, actually, that describes. Pretty much my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I think Ke Casey started writing to me once he got to know my character a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, first first attempt I think was was as abrasive as possible, and then we laxed off a little bit, and you start to figure out everyone's like tempo and how they yeah. how they roll, and then you can start to like tailor a little bit for them. It's yeah. kind of fun that way. Yeah. So right before we meet Kelly's uh, character, or well, Tammy's character, Kelly. <laughs> Switch that around. Interchangeable. Yeah, yeah, yeah really. Um, before we meet Kelly, uh, we actually get to find out that Saul and Angel we, we kind of catch up with them on their their mission to go get supplies and survivors. Uh, we find out something new too. Like this is the first time, and I got my little notes over here. This is the first time we actually get to really see some of the early physics of those who are infected. They have to eat. They eat mm -hmm. things, and they're like right. they're 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 driven by food and. And we also learn that they're not attacking each other. We don't know why or how that is, and I'm sure Michael will figure it out, though. We also learn that there's a new level of hatred we can all reach for Angel. Yeah. Uh, cannot, <laughs> Just a little more. Cannot stand the guy. Uh, cannot stand his character. Uh, he's so whiny in the Hummer on the way to uh, search why for supplies. Why do you respect me? Why does Michael get all the respect? Why? Why? It's like, man, I just... Have you ever met an officer? Oh, I've met plenty of police officers. I'm totally different. And I don't like them either. Very, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I actually, I love cops. Hate mail at Tony Ray. I know, I know. <laughs> Twitter. Hey, settle down. One Hashtag no, cops that, life matters. No, I love... <laughs> <laughs> hey. 
I'm not even <laughs> stepping anywhere near what you just said. That was disgusting. What else happens? I, I love cops. Uh, Angel just drove me nuts uh, at the beginning of the episode. But um, I also wanted to throw out a quick reminder before we go through too much more of the episode. Uh, if you have any questions about this episode, about uh, Tammy, about uh, her character Kelly, uh, for Casey or myself, please put them in the YouTube comments below. Rolo is furiously, furiously gathering questions as they come in. We already have some. Uh, so he'll be gathering them, and a little bit later on, we'll be trying to get through all those questions. These are always fun. Uh, we have we have some people we love. We have some people that send in questions. Uh, <laughs> he has hate oh. wars going on right now. So oh. I have Twitter wars. Yeah, lots people of sending wars. me uh, Twitter wars with you got, duplicate. You, you got haters. Lessons. Oh. You're not doing anything if you don't have haters. You know what I'm saying? I must be doing it all right then. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Okay, so we they they they're at the gas station, and this is the first time that I think, I mean, in my opinion, that we really see like Saul is a badass. Yeah, he can think on the fly. He can. He's smooth. He's quick. He can Mm -hmm. also. You also see a little bit of his combat skill come out where he like stabs one up close. It's uh, one of the, I think, really first close proximity kills that we have where you have to be stealthy. So Saul is, is by far and away, I think, one of the strongest soldiers in terms of, of doing everything. He's not always the best shot, which is actually something we didn't really cover much in the beginning. But he's not the best marksman, but he is pretty handy with his knife. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he checked that, he checked that rock. Which is great, uh, great work. I mean, just, just good just, job chucking that rock at that hey, car. Hey. Lots of skill. It's, a lot, it's, a, it's quick, quick thinking is what I'm saying. That's that's yeah, quick I would thinking. agree with that one. A lot of a lot of quick thinking. Also, people are, are starting to develop skills, or at least maybe they're not develop, developing them, but we're at least starting to find out what people's skills are. We've got Pegs finally doing something. Uh, she painted that sign, and all the survivors are coming in. Yeah, they wouldn't be there without her. Yeah, I mean, and that's where we get to meet Kelly. Uh, how? What are your thoughts on on your nephew? What 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 do you think that relationship's like right there at the beginning? Because we kind of get hit with a lot. I mean, boom the the poor kid, obviously maybe not super stoked to be hanging out with his aunt. Uh, his parents clearly dead. His sister, mm, she died, and they watched her die. Weirdly enough, that uh, was a cut character actually. Her, his sister Courtney was going to be part of the series, and uh, they both were going to come with Kelly to the to the tower, and she was going to have to wrangle both of them, and that would have been a really interesting dynamic. But it was just uh, we just one of those characters you cut just because it's just too many in the early early facets. Yeah. So I, I mean, I heard them correctly, right? Like uh, uh, Kelly and uh, what's what's her nephew's name? Tommy. Tommy. Sorry. Uh, Kelly oh. and Tommy. I know. I, I forgot Tommy's root name. Root beer already. I know. Yeah. <laughs> it really is. It's uh, good root beer. <laughs> I'm going to need an Uber at home. Uh, <laughs> Kelly and Tommy, uh, they saw her die. That's what I'm gathering, right? Mm-hmm. Like, that's intense. So, I mean, how did you... What were your thoughts on your character when you first got it? Especially knowing it was that intense right from the get-go. Well, I knew a little bit about the character beforehand. I, I knew that she doesn't have a, a maternal bone in her body. <laughs> she, she's all about business. She's very professional. She she knows how to get get things done in her world, but when she has to deal with like feeling stuff and family stuff, she's not quite all there. Mm-hmm. I mean, she she was looking after her niece and nephew because she had to, not because she wanted to. She didn't volunteer for that job. She the, the kids got dumped on her because sis had something else to do. And I tried to save Courtney, but I wasn't able to. I was able to get Tommy out of there, and I was yeah. looking after him. I, I'm not the best parental substitute, but I was going to do the best job I could. I was going to try and protect him the best I, I knew how. You had to save the gluten-free one. <laughs> <laughs> well, well celiac disease could be genetic, so it doesn't say that Courtney didn't have it too. Now, yeah. Courtney's a stronger name than Tommy. Courtney didn't have celiac disease. Oh, okay. I don't know. She had polio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was, she was going to die intense. polio anyway. <laughs> you should have just left them both there. I mean, it would have been easier. I'm not that selfish. <laughs> um, so how did you, is this your first, uh, is this your first experience with VO? No, no, I, I, I had done VO for commercials and I work on another audio drama. Oh, oh, competition. Mm-hmm. What the hell? <laughs> I don't think so. Would you like so. to tell us which one that is? 
Henglar MD. It's a sci-fi based in the it's in the Star Trek universe. Oh, cool! I, about I play a Romulan sub commander. Wow! Do you have to do any alien more voices? I haven't heard it. I know you did no. it, but I didn't know. I haven't heard it yet. No, it's not. It's not. It's not alien. It's. Uh, it's all human. Well, I'm a Romulan, Romulan but, but I yeah, it, it's in English. <laughs> yeah, I know all about this. <laughs> Star, what was it? Star, Star Trek. Star Trek, yeah. Star Trek, yeah. 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 I can do that. Yeah, I can do that can do right. That right. See, that's as Nanu, close. Nanu. Chomp, 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 oh, is that chomp. what is this? Nanu, Nanu. He no, this is like Pac Man or something. No, you he, you don't know Nanu, Nanu. I don't know anything. You about don't Star know Trek. Mork and Mindy. Mork and Mindy. Mork and Mindy. Williams. <laughs> oh, oh, Rolo has just lost hey, his mind. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a baby. Okay, I am very young. I am the the epitome of youth. I don't know who Mork and Mindy is. I don't know about Star Trek. All I know is I can do this with my fingers. That's well, that's, that's Star Trek. Oh, shit. That's, I'm going to really that's... piss some people off. Hey, if I got mean tweets before, oh, damn. It's the Vulcan hand salute. Oh, yeah. yeah. See, I knew Vulcan. Live, think... ha- live long and prosper. Yeah. Yeah. Can't wait for the new movie to come out. Really? Mm-hmm. I love those things. Yeah. So do I. Yeah. See, they're good. Anyway, mm-hmm. let's get back into the story. Uh, so... We also find out that Lizzie is a therapist and that she was able to, like, do her mind wars uh, and get up on the roof. Oh, you mean, like, just talking rationally to somebody? <laughs> Something that Michael couldn't do? <laughs> it's is like, he, he right? oh, we're normal. Oh, okay. Come on up. <laughs> no, man, I will say, he was being, he was being irrational. I, I totally agree with Mike. Like, just blast that guy. What? Is, like, yeah, I could. It, both sides are, have a, have a point. It's like, yes, you, he's in your way. He's a loose cannon. He could go off and hurt somebody at any time. Yeah. So I, I'm with you on both sides. But but it's only been like as we found out, it's only been a couple days since this whole thing broke out. So maybe you don't go like on Tuesday. You were making coffee and you're curing, and then on Thursday you're blasting fools through the door because they won't <laughs> let you on the ceiling. I can yeah. kind of get that. And also, there's not very many people left. So like. They're on your side. You might as well keep them around. Even if they're dicks, they could be somewhat useful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Even a dick has its uses. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. That is the greatest soundbite that has ever been said on this stage. And I thank you. <laughs> that, that. Apartment 2C. Even a dick has its uses. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> uh, what else do I got here? I'm going to um, take a drink to that one. <laughs> oh, uh, I got a couple things here. Uh, there's a weird... So if you go back to listen to the episode, this is something we, we, we hid and edited in there really crazily well. Sort of well. You'll notice it now. But uh, when Tommy is like talking with, with, with Kelly and she shushes him, there's a cut out of his line there. We actually took two lines and merged into one, but that shush like completely fixed the scene. We didn't have time to do pickups and all that stuff back in the day. It was like... <laughs> Whatever you got is whatever you have. The episode comes out Monday. We're flying by the seat of our pants. So that one. So if you go back and listen to that, shh, there's a big old cut in there. Uh, other things I got. Uh, she is Tommy's Aunt Kelly, named after my Aunt Kelly, who worked in the legal department. Oh, over there really? At the Santa Ana Courthouse, yeah. Nice. I thought it was for uh, <laughs> Kelly Kapowski. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Saved by the Bell? Oh, you don't know Saved by the <laughs> Bell? No, I never watched that How show. How dare you? Yeah, no, Kelly Kapowski was, <laughs> she was a childhood crush of mine. Really? Yeah, are you kidding me? Kelly Kapowski? Yeah, I can see that for you. Oh, dude, yeah. that's that was it. I was like, if I can marry Kelly Kapowski, I'm going to be a happy man. Aren't you married now? I didn't marry Kelly Kapowski. So <laughs> I'm, just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's okay, just she doesn't watch the show. She doesn't watch the show, it's all right. Meredith, I love you, just in case you are watching the show. Uh, <laughs> one day, she's going to watch. <laughs> she's going to watch this back one day. She's going to be so mad at me. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, also, at the end of the episode, Pegs does, like, she finally gets on everyone's good side. She finally does something right, something useful. She makes a sign that says we're alive. She's bringing in the survivors, and then she goes and pegs something up. (laughs) She, (laughs) she... I love that expression. She pegs something up. pegged it up. Great job. (laughs) She freaking... Hits the flower pot off the side of the balcony, oops. and yeah, uh, oops, oops. It happens. Gravity's hey. gravity's still working. Yeah, well, tie that shit down, pegs. That's a big mistake. I mean, and that's the thing. Oh, this was this was one of the coolest moments. I remember the first time I was listening. I was so fed up with these boring, like stupid walking 
zombies that were just super, super boring. The only zombie that, that even came close to being acceptable was um, uh, 29 Days Later, uh, right? That, Eight. 28. 28 Days Later. 28 yeah. day, 29 Days Later was a romantic comedy with Sandra Bullock, which I also loved. Uh, why? Set in leap year. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Sandra Bullock, that's why. Of course. She had a drinking problem. Don't worry about it. Anyway, Let's drink 28 Days <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I was just so sick of these, like, boring zombies that I was seeing everywhere that when he starts yelling and you're like, oh, shit, what is he doing? He's calling other zombies. Mm -hmm. That's when I think the series really takes off and you really figure out that, like, these zombies are doing things with a purpose. Yeah, it's a repeat call. If you listen closely, there's a call and then a response mm -hmm. and then a further response. So they're like, hey, really? I'm coming. <laughs> well, you know, when you use that voice, <laughs> it loses trans, its power. Well, then it really loses. But when its you power. go, ah! or I can't do it right now. I, you need the special effects to do it. So, and, I, and you need the Tupperware. Yeah, you need the Tupperware. Well, it's the behemoth. It's the. Little... <laughs> <laughs> I'll do that another time. Well, you have to bring in the Tupperware that you use to make. So I'll do it. I'll, 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 I'll totally make that voice when that character may come up. That'll be cool. Yeah. That'll be cool. Well, you just spoiled the character. For no, me. I didn't. I didn't say anything. No. What well, you did? You you named it, didn't you? No, you I said didn't. Behemoth. You said it right here, right now. That's the name of the Hummer. Unbelievable. Uh, <laughs> there's a zombie coming called Behemoth. Congratulations, oh, it's getting kids. hot in here. Are you uh, are you hot right now? Yeah. My right. my uh, my cold. beanie's getting a little warm. Yeah. No. Well, I mean, it it makes sense when uh, you got a head of hair like that. Yeah. You yeah. know all about that. Yeah, I've been living with it all my life. It's just it's. Pain. You know what? This is creeping me out, man. I was gonna play it cool, like as if I I didn't notice you had a wig on. Yeah. Last week, if you missed the episodes, uh, we were talking about Casey's weird wig collection, and apparently, <laughs> uh, I'm keep he on that wigs. camera for a second. I want to make sure it's like. Oh no, it's reversed. I'm making it worse. <laughs> no, it's right. You... That's, getting... that's no. like that's all the rage now. Is like having messy hair. To make it look like you didn't spend a time, a bunch of time on it, but in uh. actuality, it took you a ton of time. It took and even longer. It yeah, took, it's, yeah, it's even longer to put a wig on. Apparently, it's yeah, it's it's so. Ridiculous. It. so uh, do you think it's weird, Tammy, that Casey has a bunch of wigs in his house uh, for himself? No, I maybe he's got a little kink side I don't know about. Oh, yeah. yeah see, there's also all kinds of purposes and things. <laughs> We're getting back to this now. Is that what this show is become? Multitask wig. Oh yeah. man, I don't like it. I gotta tell you that. It, Wish you'd take it off. It's creeping me out. I've known you. I've the I was gonna take it off, but now I'm riding it out. Oh, the entirety I've known you, you've had a bald head, a bald, beautiful head, I might add. And now I'm looking at a beautiful set of hair. It's just not your own. In fact, it's fake. It, and, it almost matches the beard. Yeah, it's got the same it's coloration. Weird. Almost. Somewhat. You like it? Do you like? Do you like? You? Do you wish you had hair too? I've never known him with hair. Yeah. See, neither have I. So. I had like barely enough hair, like when the auditions happened, but mm -hmm. it was like so combed over. It was like looked like rivers going yeah, down. Yeah, I, I kind of remember that. Yeah, it was pretty bad. And then after that, I'm like, no, I, this. My my wife was like, or now girl girlfriend at the time, now mm -hmm. wife was like, no, just just let it go. You're not. You're Goodbye. holding on to just, just strings. I, I just have to say again, thank you so much, Blair, for saying that because I don't. I, I really don't feel like guys who are doing that sort of thing have people in their lives that can just set them straight. Yeah. Like, hey, man. Not a good look. You need to shave it. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. That's over. I get set straight a lot. Sometimes good, sometimes bad. Well, they say that that hair loss is caused by excess levels of testosterone. Oh, yeah. Um, speaking of which, I actually at one time did have hair, and somebody asked me about it last time. So um, so we have this picture coming up. Uh, it was like oh, my, my senior year in high school. Look at that Fancy head of hair. Wow. All <laughs> thick and nice, and look, oh. there's no scalp in there at all. <laughs> oh, I don't And you were like, like 18. Yeah, that was like 18. It was <laughs> like the next year it was going. All right. Because the next year, that's when you joined the Army. Yep. And they took it. Yep, they took it. <laughs> and everything. it never came back. Nope. All right, that's, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm done with Casey's hair. I just I can't stand to look at it. Tammy, if you don't mind, I'm just going to stare at you for the rest of the show. Be my uh, guest. Oh, man. See, it just, you look so much better. Now you, okay. I think it's giving you a rash. I know. Yeah, no, it's. I really do. <laughs> like, I wasn't going to say anything, but I, I think you have a massive rash on your head from that wig. It's just the heat. It's just a heat thing. It'll it's a heat fine. rash. I was wearing this on top of that. It's, it's sweaty. All right, I'm just. 
Gracious, That's can you what add that some smell lunches? is. Because I'm afraid. Uh, that, thing, <laughs> that thing is intense. Hello, Tony. I've got this little cat toy. We could put it under there and it'll zoom around the floor. <laughs> Put it this, on top oh, of that's the too much, and you've got it on backwards. Okay, moving on, <laughs> moving on. We're mo hey, hey, we're going to rein this back in, all right? We'll move on. I'm going to do my hostly duties. Uh, so, Tammy, I want to <clears throat> I want to chat with you a little bit. <sighs> I just can't I take took it, it off. Seriously. I just put it back on. I can't take it seriously. <laughs> Grace, and do something about this. You're supposed okay. to stop crazy things from happening on the show, and there you are standing, scared. Anyway, Tammy, uh... Yes. I'm I'm excited for you to be here. Like I said, you were one of my favorite characters, so I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, your role and kind of like where you're at now. Uh, kind of uh, where have they been since the show? That you know, the, mm -hmm. like uh, VH1 <clears throat> does that, don't they? I don't know. Where are they now? Is that a weird thing? <laughs> Do you want to jump? Whatever. We have we have that little thing over there. Yeah. That... No, I. That's you know what. Trying to get to it. Okay. But you got a wig on your head, don't you? I've been, been trying to get there, but trying to show the wig. Uh, <laughs> Interesting segue. One of our, one of, uh, we have we have some video of Tammy's audition that uh, is kind of like a special, some special content. We've got more <coughs> special content coming, but. Uh, just the audio. We, oh, we just have the just, audio. Just the audio, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Because one of the things about the, the auditions is like, we don't want to see the voices. Got it. We, got wanna, it. we just, just, it's not, see, it's, excuse me. We don't want to see the faces. We just want to hear the voices. No, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, so let's uh, let's go ahead and play some of that audio from her first audition. And there. you can comment at any time too. We're going to we can talk over. It. Okay, good. Whenever Rolo is <coughs> going, <coughs> we also have uh, some other bonus content too. Oh yeah, it's coming. Tammy Klein, <laughs> Ryan. Oh, <laughs> oh that was terrifying. It's hard to. If he gets a moment, I get one too. Where are you? I know you have them in here. Smell them. Shit, here we go. So where the fuck did I put your light? Need a light? Thanks, Ray. You know, you shouldn't sneak up on me like that. And there's some. <coughs> here, you want one? Thanks. I took this a long time ago. Gave it up when I was overseas. I guess I made it long enough. Me too. Stopped because it was bad for my health, but fuck it. That's the least of my concerns, right? You know, I'll be all right. You don't need to be in here. I didn't have to jump onto the back of your Humvee either, but it's a choice I made. Why don't you go and try to consult Angel? Maybe work some magic I could get on his suit. I'm where I should be. What does that mean? You may have them fooled, but not me. Oh? And how's that? You're hurting right now, but for different reasons. Because we had to shoot Angel's girlfriend? Well, yeah, I feel bad about it, but it was the right thing to do. No. I mean about losing loved ones today. The thought never crossed your mind, did it? Yes, it did. Bothered me all day. I don't think so. Look, it's all right to talk about it. You don't have anyone, do you? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. What does that matter? <laughs> you look pretty young. Where are your parents? Oh, God. We're smoking a cigarette, not having drinks. I ain't about, I ain't about to give you my life story already. You can play it tough all you want, but don't let whatever it is get to you. And how would that happen? Something back there hurt you as much as it hurt Angel, and you're not letting it out. And until you do, it'll continue to eat you away. It may be cute to think, you know, it's some sort of inspired wisdom, but... Um, oh, oh! Woo, that audio. Uh, so, that was, uh, you were just telling me, I don't know if they could hear us during that, but, uh, <clears throat> that was actually a cold read for you. You, yes. you did not prepare to read that part. No. It was, my heart moved. Oh. It was very sad. I didn't have to get on the back of that Harley. <laughs> I like that. I like that Dr drama. Drama. This was before we, Riley was assigned to being French, and you know, we experimented mm -hmm. back then. We had the, everyone read different roles, and mm -hmm. it was uh, kind of, in the beginning especially, it was like an, a sort of an experiment of like, uh, who best fits the part, mm -hmm. and then can we adjust them moving around, and, and things like that. So it's, it's also like, Especially when you have some of these casting sessions, you may not get exactly what you want, especially the level we're doing, but you can find people who might fit if you just do some, some minor changes. Yeah. So it worked out pretty well that way. Yeah. Um, so you, I mean, you've been a member of the cast for a long time now. Four years. Yeah. Well, That's... since 2009 when it started. Right. So, like, what are, what are some <clears throat> of your fondest memories of, of being a part of the cast? 
just coming in every time I got a chance to. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. It record. was a lot of fun, and I miss it. Yeah, it's different from other uh, VO work because everyone's in the same room. I mean, mm -hmm. every, mo almost everyone. Sometimes there's one or two characters, but uh, you know, I don't know if that's something that people realize. But when you record VO, typically you're just in there by yourself, and, mm -hmm. and you're, you're having to just kind of make up these interactions that you're having. But when we're alive. It was really cool because everyone's in the same room. We're all being able to play off of each other. Right. It was really cool. Yeah, yeah, I like that. We actually we do have video of your live of a couple live events uh, that you that you were part of uh, mm -hmm. with We're Alive. Some interviews that you did, uh, and I think they're entertaining. Yeah, some of them are <coughs> super old. One's from like 2010, so it's like it's like 240 <laughs> resolution yeah. stretched out. So here's we'll have some nice uh, nice upraising on this one uh, a little bit, and then we also have our live show that was uh, I think our second live show that we did, uh -huh. which is pretty cool. Yeah, let's take a look at this. Right. Nightcat's giving me the thumbs up. I love doing the zombie voices. <laughs> Dachu and I were in there fighting over a piece of meat one time. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> ah, the most difficult thing. That would be the wait in between recording sessions. Because it's so much fun when we're all in the studio together recording because we work so well together and we all like each other so much and we have so much fun together. Um. Aww. <laughs> okay, you can go ahead. Go. Aww. Aww. Perfect. <laughs> I mean, same answer. Years <laughs> apart. Same yeah. answer. It really, it really is a cool experience. It was a little, mm -hmm. little, little family. Mm -hmm. little yeah. Little family. Yeah. Every Everyone. so often we get to see everybody again. It's nice that like that we get to do this again because we get mm -hmm. to see everyone. It's yeah, kinda, and we're all still in contact it. with each other. Yeah, yeah. No, it is. It is definitely really cool. So, what have you been? What have you been up to since? Uh, done a couple of movies. Um, started a new profession. That's what, about it. What's the new profession? Well, now I work as a compositor. A okay. It's a type of visual effects artist. Awesome. That's how, and how long have you been doing that? A little over a year. Oh wow! Okay, very cool, very cool. Yeah. So still, still in entertainment business, mm -hmm. and you actually have a couple. Uh, I know we have uh, some trailers. <coughs> uh, you're mm -hmm. in a couple movies that are coming out uh, mm -hmm. relatively soon. Uh, they're out now. Oh, they're out already. They're out already. Oh, I'm sorry. And they just came out. Okay. Okay. Cool. Well, uh, the first one <coughs> we have is Zombies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, explain, explain Zombies a little bit uh, before we watch the trailer here. It's uh, Zombies Meets Jurassic Park. <laughs> it's very similar, fun, and I don't, I don't know cool. what else you need to say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to watch that movie. <laughs> Zombies Meet Jurassic Park. Let's check out the trailer of Zombies. Day of your zoology college internship at the Eden Wildlife Zoo. Rex sent me out to check an alarm at the vet clinic. Anything I should be concerned about? These are the last two. Hit with the others. She's going into cardiac arrest. Her heart stopped. This is security. Is anyone there? On our way. It's the animals that need protection from the people. Not the other way around. Your boss said no weapons. Where are the monkeys? Get out of there now. They're headed to the aviary. If this virus infects just one of those birds and it flies out of them. The crazy is affecting this whole zoo. They want to get rid of us. Seek immediate shelter in a secure and locked facility. We're gonna have to kill them. And getting us out of here alive. Mr. <laughs> uh, that was that was pretty gruesome. Um, yeah, I don't think my wife would like those uh, those giraffes like just munching on people, ripping them apart. Are it's giraffes, odd. yeah, giraffes are favorite. I like I like them too. Uh, well, I still looks hella entertaining. I will definitely be watching that. 
Uh, you were saying, is that the is that sound that the gorilla made? <laughs> Sounded very familiar. Yeah, Sounded it's, very familiar. It's, uh, could be a TIE fighter. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and the next trailer that we have, uh, that it, it, this, they're both already out, right? Yeah. Cool. Uh, this one is called Little Dead Rotting Hood. Uh, so set this up a little bit for us. Because, I mean, I can kind <coughs> of make some assumptions from the title. Little Dead Rotting Hood. Uh, sounds like Little Red Riding Hood. Uh, little, uh, little Red Riding Hood meets zombies meets werewolves. I love when things meet zombies. <laughs> like, zombies my favorite genre. It, it, it's so good, and there's so much there that you can do and play with. So let's check out the trailer for Little Dead Rotting Hood. We're running out of time. The people have to be protected. <laughs> this is the only way. got killed down by the river by the old wolf lady's place sheriff what's going on man i need you to get a hold of samantha right now I told you there's something wrong with the wolves ah! i've never seen a wolf attack like this I got a call from that danny kid said he can't find his girlfriend anywhere what if something bad happened so sam where have you been Dealing with a new breed of wolves. I think there's something supernatural about all this. Sheriff! I found Sammy. We need to find the new den mother tonight. I need your help. What? Speak. I need you to consider for a moment that werewolves are real. Damn, was that little Romeo? Yes, it was. I like that guy. <laughs> I like I like that little. Out of all the Lils, he's one of my favorite Lil. He's a very nice man too. Yeah, yeah, I've seen him on some TMZ clips. That little yeah. little family. Well, yeah, you have Lil Wayne, <laughs> Lil Romeo, Lil, Lil Game, Lil, Lil Young, Lil Gang, Lil Four. Little Loco, Little He's, kinda, Pop, he's in Little Dead Riding Hood. Little Giants, mm -hmm. you know. Shout out Little Giants. Yeah, that's kind of a straight role for him. Yeah. that was, So uh, you were just explaining, you had three jobs on that movie. Yes. Uh, so you were, go ahead and explain those again. I, was, I played Mildred, the diner uh, owner. I was a compositor and a graphic artist. I designed all of the posters and artwork and the menus for the diner. That's cool. That's really cool. Now here's a little unknown, little known fact. Actually, no <laughs> one knew this, uh, <laughs> and we we debated we debated about talking about this. But uh, you and I were actually in a movie together. <clears throat> yes, we were. Uh, it was another uh, this production company, Asylum. It was an Asylum film. Mm -hmm. uh, it came out six years ago, <laughs> and it was titled MILF. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, now. I'm sure all of you know what MILF stands for, uh, but uh, we were in it together, and uh, my actually, my lines, my speaking lines got cut, which is very upsetting for me. Aww. That's fine. It's all right. I'm still in it. You can see me a few times. It's cool. Are, so, are, did your scenes get cut? Or? No. No, no, no. My You're, scenes did not get cut. <laughs> no. no her, her scenes are very prominent <laughs> in the film. Uh, so if you have not <laughs> seen, if you have not seen Mill, uh, go check it out. I think I, I don't even know if, where you can watch it. Still, is it still on uh, Netflix? It's, it's aired on. It's aired on Netflix. It's was. It's actually been on TV. Uh, it's you can still get it. DVDs of it. Huh. Asylum still sells it. Yeah. Cool. Well, I mean, for what it's worth, I think it was a really funny script. I thought it was. A it was fun a great movie. script. Yeah. Uh, I think it's a fun movie. Uh, there are. Uh, Oh, I, I'm whole just sitting of, over here not commenting. Just, hey, just like I'm not. Yeah. Gonna, <clears> there, gonna, there are yeah. a whole lot of sex scenes. Uh, <laughs> well, you got to think with a title like yeah, MILF. Yeah. A title like MILF. What are you supposed to do? I know it's the last letter. So if you're not doing it, you're if not, you're not fulfilling effing. the title. I'm, I'm disappointed if it's you know. Exactly. Uh, and and what was your role in that movie? 
Shannon. Uh, and, and were you a MILF? No, I was one of the four college students who was looking. No. <laughs> 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 yes. For a second, I was like, "Oh wait, what?" what? I, I'm, I'm talking that was about the before wrong the movie. gender reassignment. Ah, got uh. it, got it, got it. <laughs> uh, so, so you were a milf, and I was Chad. Hanging. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bad joke. <laughs> no, no, no. I get it. Uh, so go check it out. You will see. You will if you watch the movie. You will see a little bit of me and a whole lot of Tammy. <laughs> Tony, you're blending into the background. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. Oh, man. We got uh, a so, questions. I know so we, we got, got a, we got a bunch of questions we're going to get to in just a second. If you have any questions, submit them now. Uh, Rolo's going to be taking questions the whole time. He loves it. He cannot wait to take more questions. We have a little bit of We're Alive news. And, oh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, we are moving forward lockdown as of every week. Uh, we just got done a whole bunch of... We're working on ADR. Matter of fact, after this, we have another ADR session going, and uh, we're slowly getting every all the pieces in place to get that thing launched on uh, in April. And uh, we also have uh, the artwork for the cover is almost done, and so we'll be revealing that. We might actually reveal some of the little aspects of it or on this show. So uh, we'll see what happens in the next couple of weeks. I just saw a preview of it today. It looks so good. It's pretty cool. It's a new art mm -hmm. style. It's completely new. It's totally different than anything you've ever seen We're Alive style mm -hmm. view, I guess. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it, it's fresh, and it looks real good. I'm, I'm excited for it. I'm so excited we'll for it. Yeah. Uh, so let's, <clears throat> let, with, with that, let's jump into some questions. Uh, let's get right to it. We've got a, a, a number of questions. So Nightcap, anytime you're ready, girl. Hit me with the first one. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let me see. Um, so we had a, a little bit of a taster earlier, but uh, Casey Coymoon, just just to have a little bit more, can you do another zombie sound? <laughs> hey, I'm just glad you did that without the wig on. <laughs> That's, okay, we're good. Okay. That, so did you voice all the zombies? A lot. Because when you need them in the scene and you're like, this one doesn't work, put the mic over here. Let's just do this. Yeah. It's <laughs> because so, you, your voice is the best thing, best tool you have for doing audio drama sometimes. You just, like, when you got to do it, if you got to do some, you know, whatever, sometimes you have to, like, uh, if a character didn't swallow right, sometimes you have to swallow for the character. <laughs> I could have done that in MILF. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm noticing a theme. <laughs> That you have brought with you, <laughs> Tammy. I, I feel like, Tammy, this is all your fault. You brought this theme to this <laughs> show. And to be honest, I, I do like it. Well, it's it's different from Kelly. It's yeah. Oh, yeah, way different from Kelly. Uh, that's a good question that I always forget <clears> to ask and that someone asks from YouTube. Uh, so I'm going to steal their question. Uh, what what aspects of, uh, characters, uh, of Kelly's character do you see in yourself? Um, well... She was a, a, a lawyer, and I always envisioned her as a homicide attorney. My actual day job, I'm a crime scene investigator. What? Mm -hmm. <laughs> How do we not talk about this? <laughs> Why would you talk about too this? busy talking about <laughs> other things. <laughs> well, about your hey, little hey, well, if you would have seen the movie, you would have been busy with that, too. You know what I'm saying? Okay, that's weird, man. You made me go weird. Why do you do this? Why are you, you just set yourself weird? up? Why are you making me be weird? Yeah, so okay. you investigate crime that's scenes. That's huge. Yeah. The, that's pretty cool. That isn't. I, this is a stupid question, but so you've like seen some gruesome things? Yeah. Oh, I could not do that. How do you do that? <laughs> Have you always been prone to yeah. being able to handle that kind of stuff? Yeah, I, I like when I was I was watching zombie movies when I was a kid. So, yeah. and I I started as a nurse and was. I worked on getting my, my other degrees and got a job with the sheriff's department and I do crime scenes. It's like, yeah. Wait, did you say other degrees? So what degrees do you degrees? have? Multiple degrees? I've got a, an associate's degree in nursing, a bachelor of science in chemistry, and a master of science in criminalistics. Wow. Damn. That's pretty impressive. That's really <laughs> impressive. That's pretty cool. Because I have zero degrees. <laughs> Z zero degrees? <laughs> That's 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 crazy. That's so do you do cool. so do you work on uh, uh, like 
you do like the actress thing and the mm -hmm. graphic design thing at on night the side. on the weekends on yep. the side on at in the afternoon, at night, on the weekends, on the side. She's wow. always like, every time like, I see her on Facebook, she's like building a studio, doing sound work, <laughs> then doing visual effects, then acting. It's like, when do you do anything that's not work? Work is fun for me. That's true. That's a good point. As, that, as long as it's it's something you enjoy doing, it's fun to do. You You're never doing, go to work. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. If yeah. you like what you do, it's not work. That's that is so cool. I had no idea. So is it really like CSI, the TV no. show? It's no. not like that. No. Are you serious? No. Who wears high heels to a to a crime scene? Who? 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 Nobody. Nobody. Oh <laughs> man, I love that show. So you don't wear high heels to the, the crime scene? No. What is a typical outfit for a crime scene investigation? I have literally no idea. Uh, polo shirt, jeans, and hiking boots. Hiking. Mm -hmm. Something comfortable because you're going to be wearing them a long time. I, the longest I've been out on a scene is 18 hours. Wow. And, and they sent us home just to go sleep for a few hours and then we came right back the next day. Wow. And we stayed like, for what three are the days. What you look for? Like, what is, what's the thing that's like, <clears throat> that is unique to Tammy? Like, oh, that Tammy will know what to do about that. Oh, no, it's, it just depends on what kind of scene it is, whether it's been a, a rape scene or a homicide scene. or I mean, that's the only thing that the sheriff's department will actually investigate, that they'll, that they'll actually send a criminalist out on. Got only those two qualifications. Yeah, because there's there's just too much crime. Otherwise, they don't, they don't have the manpower to investigate burglaries or anything like that. Wow. That is highly impressive. I had no idea yeah, that's cool. that you had multiple degrees and you were a freaking crime scene investigator. That is so... Bad ass. <laughs> that is super badass. Uh, okay, the audience is going to be so upset. <laughs> we have some more We're just ignoring everything. It's already questions. 835. Let's get into some more questions, especially now that we know that Tammy's a freaking CSI investigator. So uh, Everything. Just hit, just hit that call. new question. Hit that next question. Yeah, uh, Tammy, a lot of um, a lot of our fans uh, know that you work a lot about uh, in the autism community. Mm -hmm. And they were um, wondering... Uh, what, uh, oh, let me find the question exactly. Uh, will you tell us a little bit more about your work in that community? The person who asked that was Blair Wayland. Ah, well, I'm autistic myself. I have Asperger's. It's a form of autism. And it actually kind of helped me with my role with Kelly because I felt she was a little bit Aspie in a way. You can, we come across as kind of intellectual, kind of standoffish, a little bit antisocial. We're not. We just, we can't read people re really well. And part of my work within the autism community is to help make other people aware of how we're different and how to better relate to us and to help other Aspies like myself who might not be able to become gainfully employed because of their social disabilities to gain employment, to teach them how to do it. That is so cool. Is that a, an association or something that you work through? I work through a, an organization up in Canada called ANCA, Naturally Autistic. It's in Vancouver. Mm. And every year they have an international award show for autistics who have done something within their communities of, of any, anything of note, whether it's in the literary, creative arts, um, uh, anything for the, for their society around them. And, and they, they receive awards for this work that they've done. That's pretty cool. Man. So she's a humanitarian. That's... So add yeah. that to the degrees. <laughs> you know, just one just more. We're peeling back the layers tonight. You, I had no... I've, it's an onion. The, it's an onion. You, ha, you just have to get past the MILF and then there's just so much more underneath. <laughs> you just... Damn it, Casey. Just like... <laughs> yeah. Damn just, it, Casey. <laughs> just peel it off. Damn it. You know, why are you going to do this? We're really trying to bring the level of this show up and yeah, tear us back down. Uh, but seriously, that is super inspiring. I mean, multiple degrees. CSI, you're doing all this other stuff on the side. And I had no idea uh, about that part of your life. Uh, I mean, and we've been on the in the cast for years now. See, this is what we do, Tusi. We get to find mm -hmm. out more yeah, about you. That's, yeah, it's so exciting. All right, let's hit up that next question. <coughs> Grayson's so upset that the show's lasting so long. Back off, Grayson. <laughs> all right? The fans are loving it. We're finding out all kinds of stuff. Jeez. I'm sorry, guys. I apologize for Grace. All right, <laughs> next question, my cat. Tammy, Cinderfire would like to know, uh, when you first started working with We're Alive, what were your impressions, and did you have any idea it would evolve like it did? Um, well, 
I'll tell you what, when I first saw the casting notice for We're Alive, I said, I got to be on that show. I love zombies. It's one of my favorite genres, and I had to be on the show. So Mike Swan, who's the narrator, is a really good friend of mine, and I made him go over the lines with me. He helped me. He coached me because I... I mean, I got professional coaching so I could come in and do the, nail the audition and get the job because I really wanted it that badly. And then when I came in, because I knew it was going to be a success, just, just the way it, it was described in the casting notice and the way our cast came together and, and how professional everything was when we were on set, I knew it was going to go places and I really wanted to be a part of it. Oh, that's, that's so nice. <laughs> Of course, I have to say that because I'm here now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk for realsies when he leaves. Uh, oh, to, 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 to echo that on our side, one of the great things about Tammy was we were like, we love her, and we, because we saw you as Kelly all the way, and it was one of those things where we're like, when we cast her, we had to say, okay, now we have to wait for like almost two months in order to record you mm -hmm. because Kelly didn't come up yet. So it was like, right. hey, you're cast, hold on a second. <laughs> We'll have you come in in a couple months. Just give us some time, and then yeah. and then Kelly uh, was with us. It was pretty cool. That's awesome. All right, next question. All right, Pike Paw would like to know: uh, Did any of the actors audition for the characters they ended up playing? Up until now, they have been reading <laughs> other characters' lines. <laughs> we we do. We have the uh, we have her audition for Kelly. But why would you want to listen to her being a Kelly? You've always heard her as Kelly, so <laughs> that's why we let you hear something different. Is uh, is the round robin of who swapped lines and who did what? And yeah. if you really want to hear some of the audition, maybe we'll throw in Nate Jesus next time or something like that. It makes sense. All right, we have uh, any more questions? We're all good on questions. Perfect. I got, oh. I got one. Oh, I got one. What was your favorite? like, thing you ever did in part of the show? You can be vague with the scene or somewhat specific. I can't really be really too specific, but I, I really enjoyed it when later, I think it was probably season three, when I was getting more into uh, the traveling between the different locations. Yeah. And... The exploration <laughs> yes, part of, the ex of the ex character yes. was pretty cool. That was a lot of fun because I, I got to play more. That was that was. Uh, we did a lot of different. We'll we'll, we'll get there. But the, the yeah, the, there's a lot. The path yeah, has yeah. a lot of weird twists and turns along the like way. Like I said, I hated Kelly for a while. So <laughs> we've got a lot of transforming to do. Uh, and and it, like I said, one of my favorite all-time characters. So I'm so happy that mm -hmm. you're here, and so happy that we learned so much about you. Yeah, no uh, I mean, like that's crazy. Uh, so right now, it's my one of my favorite parts of the show. Giving shit away. I Yay. love giving shit away. Especially we have this. Yours. <laughs> I, I, know. I didn't pay for this. I want to give it away. Uh, this is one of the original. Thank you for modeling that for me. This is one of the original uh, shirts uh, from from We're Alive. Uh, We're Alive: A Story of Survival. And uh, we gave. We, the contest was last week to make what your interpretation of a zombie cat was. Had to be original work. You could have literally done anything. And we have picked our winner for one of the most rare We're Alive shirts in existence. Well deserved, too. Literally. Well deserved. Yeah. And the winner of the Zombie Cat Competition. <laughs> Jordy Shepard. Jordy oh. Shepard. <laughs> this is your design. This is so cool. Yeah, you can just leave that up there for all the, the rest of the show. That Well, <laughs> don't do that. Uh, <laughs> that is... Really cool. He actually made two uh, art pieces. Uh, that is the first one, and th this is the second one, I think. And this included pegs. It's adorable. It's a very good pegs, by the way. <laughs> yeah, look how cuddly that kitty looks. Yeah. I just wanna, just wanna hold it, and yeah. squeeze it, and love it, and it's yeah, just a it's, cool little kitty. And it, that is that is super really cool. really well done. Just yeah. really impressive artwork. The t-shirt is well deserved at this point. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. In a bonus gift because we liked it so much and we held out for two weeks and we figured why not add something else. Uh, we are giving you this super sweet We're Alive composition book, Blood Stains Included. Uh, and get back. Grayson's fingerprints are on the front page if you ever need a frame up for something. Oh, perfect. That's, <laughs> that's actually, really, that's so actually really good to know. Oh, yeah, you might want to keep that copy. We'll give you another one. Hey, are my fingerprints on this? Like, if they I are now. 
Literally, they yeah. could pull it off of there. Oh yeah. Wow. I need to talk to you because I got. Some what if What if he rubbed it off of his shirt? Is it gonna still be there? Uh, well, he's touched other pages. He's touched the inside of it. Uh, you are stressing me out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get framed for so many things. Jordy Shepard's going to go on a murdering rampage. I'm just kidding, Jordy. I don't know you at all. Maybe you're a nice guy, but maybe you're a murderer. He could be. Uh, you never know. We have a very wide audience. So congratulations uh, for the composition book and the shirt. Let us know, or we'll let Grayson know if you'd like us to sign anything. If you want this unsigned, totally understand. If you want it signed... We will sign it for you uh, and and ship this out to you as quick as we can. Uh, for the new content, new contest, uh, we will be announcing it next week, so stay tuned. And uh, we'll be giving out some stuff. You put back on the wig. After everything that's been said. <laughs> We've been through a lot today. We, You know what? We really Him and have. his wig. Yeah. Been through a lot. We, yeah, we really have. Again, uh, Tammy, thank you so much for You're coming welcome. on. Thanks for having me. I, it was, uh, yeah, it was a pleasure. Uh, and we, oh, the, oh Jordy, wants Jordy wants us to sign it. Okay, perfect. Um, Jordy, thank you so much for watching live. Congratulations again for winning. We will sign this. Uh, Rolo, let me know. Um, but yeah, seriously, thank you so much for coming yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, thank, thank you. you. Uh, yeah, thank you. yeah, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> And if you want to listen ahead, you can do that. You don't have to wait for us every Tuesday at 7.30 Pacific Standard Time. You can listen to the rest of We're Live right now. Just go check us out on iTunes. You can go check it out on audible.com. And make sure to follow us on our Facebook page, our Twitter page. And most importantly, subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you get notifications next week when we go live right here Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, this is the first week that uh, daylight savings jumped yeah. ahead. Mm. It was it was light out when we came here. I was yeah. like, oh, this is cool. It's nice, right? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Once again, Casey Wayland, uh, never wear a wig on this show again, please. I'm gonna wear one all the time. Man. <sighs> this is terrible. <laughs> I'm gonna leave this wig here. This is terrible. Rolo, shout out to Rolo, our crew back there. <laughs> so shout out to Night Cat, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I guess shout out to Grayson. I guess shout out to Grayson. Congratulations, Grayson, on surviving another show. <sighs> He's still alive. He's still alive. We're all we got still some alive. good episodes Every coming up I too. Like it's getting really new. Like I think after the first two chapters, it really <clears> starts <throat> to pick up a little mm -hmm. bit because that's when we start to get in our groove and really yeah. know what things going on. Like we uh, we get to get some combat coming up, I think. So. Yeah. And the yeah. personalities are more developed and Yeah, the more interactions and more playtime and We have to deal with that flower pot mistake. Yeah. Oops. We don't know what's gonna happen now. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Again, Tammy, thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome, thank you. Uh, I am Tony Ray, your host, and next week we will have Nate G's on. Nate G's who plays Saul, one of the best soldiers, uh, for now. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> you what I did there. Uh, he's uh, he's a great character, even a even a greater guy. So very excited to have him on the show next week. And thank you all so much for tuning in. And we'll see you right here next week, Tuesday, seven thirty p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Arrivederci. Ah, we're live.